Good morning. There's our load. I hate the ones that are sticking out so far. It makes me freak out that things falling apart, but that's the way it was loaded. Some some uh, the two by fours are just longer than the others. Still uncomfortable. I don't like it. We are in Langley. Langley. And we're going where? Somewhere in Surrey? Sure. by parking there and to get back out we got to loop back back loop back around with all the construction it's fast disappearing but sometimes we just don't have options <coughs> tried the rest area just west of Abbotsford. We haven't tried that one in a long time and it's like, we know it was bad for RVs and homeless, but the whole thing is now packed. You cannot get more than one or two trucks in there. All the spaces were full. It's like, okay, yep. Well, they started parking in the grass and yeah, the, it's, it's taken over. <laughs> it's, it, the, the way they're parked, they're permanently parked. They, they're not moving. So I'm not sure what the Department of Transportation is doing there, if they just gave up. It definitely prevents me from parking anywhere over there. The daffodils are blooming. But yeah, daffodils are blooming. A truck behind us, four way flashers on on the road, pulled in where we were parked. Why are you holding that? This is sweaty and it's picking up all the dirt on the ground. Okay. I had it here, but it doesn't want to stay there. <coughs> Excuse me. There's a lot of trees blooming there. Oh, yeah. Those are the apple trees, I think. They look like apple trees. Or the cherry trees. I don't know my trees. They could be like a crab apple or they look like apple to me. I don't really remember. Last night when I was walking this whole area here, hundreds and hundreds of frogs. Mm-hmm. Just hear them. load delivered. It's 8 a.m. so we slept in a little bit. And according to who man? You can't give me two different times. I gave you two different times? No not you the boss. Okay I'm just like what? These are not closed yet. I was gonna close it for you. I wasn't close to it. Unbelievable. I Knowing you, you would toss them in the right original, place. Our original dispatch said deliver at 7 a.m. It's like, okay, that's going to be tight, but we can make it happen. And then when we got our next dispatch on there, it said this delivery was 9. I'm like, well, okay. No worries then. We, we, we've got lots of time. I just started getting text messages from the boss. Hey, what time are you delivering that load? I'm like... 9 a.m. as per your last ETA or delivery time. 
He goes, my bad, it's actually 7 a.m. And I'm like, well, it's a little too late for that now. But we'll get ready and start going. Might get there around 8.30ish. Beautiful blue sky is gone. What happened to our blue sky? The rain moved in. Well, there's no rain here yet. But you're right. slow right down but that's okay we're gonna be staying in this lane period ever. knows that this lane slows right down for the exit. 
and people that want to exit zip past the slow line and then merge in at the last minute. And I've seen another one merging in front of that cute van. U Haul. vibration on the side of the door. Vibration? Yeah, like... Just the truck working hard uphill? Don't know. Did it go away as soon as it took the off the throttle? Of course it did. So, yeah, just the truck working hard. seat squeaking. Not your milk. No, it's doing You're a worried different it's gonna noise. fall over. No, it's doing a different noise. Okay. <laughs> Tritum truck with a Tritum front trailer and Tritum rear trailer. An extra 17,000 kilogram heavier than we can haul. It's quite a bit. Super B or a single track. 
truck, but... I, I don't know how you do it there. I'm how do you smash sure. there? A car cuts you off and you swerve or something. Or you're distracted. in front of us. It's halfway into the no post there for a second. Facing cam worked fine yesterday. Hopefully, hopefully it's fixed and we're good now. Under Portman Bridge? Not really. Box fans in that to me. Uh, we'll slow down. That, that's like the death zone. Box fans should know better than that. I guess they're not that heavy, so they don't know better. Still closed. I'm not sure what they're waiting for. It looks like it's done. I laugh about the max limit 24 hours. Yeah, they should have said 36. No, it doesn't matter what you say either. People are going to have to park, yeah. Um, the locals are going to just park here overnight and then park the car in there. Yeah during the day. It doesn't matter what the signs say, that's what they're going to do, unless someone actually forces it. No, on weekends, they're going to leave it in there for 48 hours. Longer than that, it'll be in there for 56 hours. Park it on Friday night, get back in on Monday morning. That's how the truck stop works at Nordell Way. It's like, hey, there's a truck parking area here. Oh no, it's only for locals. There's signs everywhere that says no car parking, but there's cars parked everywhere. It says no unattended vehicles, and there's nothing but unattended vehicles. I think they need to find a way combat if you have a local yard for your company you're just not allowed to park in there property so expensive that I guess these trucking companies don't actually have a place for these guys to park or at least the workers don't want to park in that yard because then they would have to drive their car an hour through this traffic It's not fair for you to drive how many hours and have no spot yeah. from out of town, right? There has to be something that has to give. Is it, no matter how many spaces or spots they make, the locals are in danger. Locals take them all, yeah. Yep. The only way you get a spot is if you arrive. Not even then, they park the cars in the way. Yep, they do. So you can't take that spot.
just make a rule tow trucks you guys are in charge of this if the vehicle is unattended you can take it if there's a person in it you cannot You're just gonna taxi or Uber, though. Yeah, that would work. Park a trailer, get a taxi, get your groceries, come back. Good progress on this bridge. Yeah. Discussing that in the comments below that it looks like the bridge will be a one span bridge that's going to look similar to uh, the Alex Fraser and the uh, Port Man Bridge. It looks like it's going to be similar style but only one span instead of two. Bridge over top of us here. That's new, right? No, that was her last okay. time. Okay. <laughs> you had crazy traffic here last time. I did time. have crazy traffic here last time. side roads, the way the on-ramps and off-ramps work on the side roads here, so Highway 17 will flow smoother, and so will the bridge. So they've got an overpass here, so the on-ramps and off-ramps, they get onto Highway 17. Jack. 
jack wagon. Unprofessional jack wagon. He wants to scoop you. I guarantee you he's going to go to the same spot. Probably. Space for us back there. All right, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Depending on how quickly they unload us, I might try to get a clip in or two, but. I doubt that's going to be soon enough. So probably I'll just end the video here. Really appreciate all your support. Thank you, everyone. You guys absolutely rock. Adios. Uh, walking back. You just gotta give you a little time if I went to the shipping office. Walking up. 